Now, for all its claims of being farmer-friendly, the Congress-led UPA government doesn't have impress impressive statistics to back it up. In Andhra Pradesh, for example, the central government statistics point to 22,000 farmer suicide deaths in a 10-year period, whereas the state has reported less than 40% of that number. <laughs> Narsama's 36-year-old son committed suicide in 2005 after the only thing that grew on his three acres was his debt of 2 lakh rupees. Eight bore wells had failed. He drank pesticide. Unable to see her four children die a slow death, his wife Padma also chose death. And then Narsama's ailing husband hanged himself. And yet this family in Medak district got no help. Government, Atia activist Rakesh Reddy has correlated data on farmer suicide deaths from the National Crime Records Bureau with that reported by the Andhra Pradesh government. Between 1998 and 2008, the NCRB says over 22,000 farmers killed themselves in Andhra Pradesh, whereas the government figure is less than 8,000. Less than 4,700 of those suicides were treated as genuine or eligible for compensation. That means just 21% of the total suicides as per NCRB data. The Congress government points out that in the last five years, MSP has gone up by 100%. And Andhra Pradesh has been a major beneficiary of enhanced credit and debt waiver announced by the UPA government. There is a tendency on the part of the people to uh, you know, classify every suicide as an agriculture suicide because they would get some benefits. This scheme is only for farm related suicides. Chandrababu Naidu, when he was chief minister, withdrew compensation to farmers, suicide victim families because his government reasoned that deaths due to other reasons were being classified as agriculture related. The Congress then in the opposition had criticized it severely. Ironically, now in power, the Congress is singing the same tune as Naidu. In Hyderabad, Vidhi Satish, T.S. Sudhir, NDTV.